This is what I've been working on these, trying to tie up these corners here the whole, to get the cab a little more strength because I plan to lift it off. And all these chop cuts, got them all. It still needs a lot of work and it's rusted to the max. And I've been having fun with it though. Got the Mustang front end on it. Just it's just installed. It's just packed. And this is what I was working on today. The other side over here. Trying to get this rust out of here. This floor is a lot better than the other side. And then I take this piece of angle here and I put it up there to tie it to tie that across there. And tack those in and weld it in this plate. This plate goes in like that, and then I'll fold it over to match this bar. And then that'll strengthen up this corner. I still got a brace to put in there for the suicide hand door hinges. Still have to finish the chop. I got a big gap right here. I gotta finish. Because I plan to take the cab off the frame. And I wanted to get all these areas. Get some weld in there so I Strengthen it up a little bit. This your rear end. I haven't done nothing yet in the out back. Uh, there's my dashboard. I don't know if you can see it. But that dashboard, uh, this is out of a 52 Cadillac. And I do have the wraparounds that come onto the doors. So it's gonna look it's gonna look cool when I, when I get those on. Firewall, I've been working on the firewall, filling in holes. I like to smooth it all up. I'm not sure about this heater thing here. Yeah, I might take that out and weld that in too, I think. But I think I'm just gonna weld all the holes in. I got some work to do on the bottom here. When I got this truck, this all of these, this whole section here was all gone. This inside piece is gone. The only thing that was really left on this side was just what you see down this edge here and then I just filled it in with some oversized steel. And uh, I got a patch panel for this piece this piece here is going to go on. I'm just going to clean, clean this up a little bit here. But I'm still thinking I'm going to fill this in here just to smooth this out. And uh, we're get, get that done. Like I said, this is all gone. This, everything was gone. You can see right through the cab from this side all the way through to the other side. And funny, this side was the worst side, and it uh, this uh, kick panel on the firewall was still pretty good all the way around down to the bottom here. So I just left it in there and just welded up all around it. Like this is all replaced. This is all replaced. This is like totally gone down here. The whole cab on this side was actually sinking down in and that before I welded it up I had jacked everything up and uh, just to get it all straight again and that's the inside there it was really bad there's like no, there was no floor left in here at all so I got some plate in here it's all in there pretty good everything's straight this needs to be finished this needs to be well finished welded off I can't wait to see what it looks like from 
below once I get the cab off. Okay. This is the new welder that I got. From Pig Iron. And I must say that I really do like it. It's a cheap it's a cheap welder, but let me tell you. It's it's got the inverter in it so it like uses less power when you're welding to the house. And I, I could really tell a difference right away and I, I'm still getting the same welds that I'm used to. So I'm really happy with it. I haven't tried the spot timer on it yet, but it seems like the control the controls are just really super nice. I, I welded this uh, right out of the box and had no problem with it. Uh, I guess it's my uh, shout out to Clutch. Uh, they did a really nice job for how cheap it was. No problems. Okay. There's the piston, showing very little wear on the bearings. And there's what happened to it. This is a 400 standard size piston that I bought and it's just it looks so different than the factory one because it's got that beveled edge on the top you know and the, I don't know maybe this is gonna work I don't know it's just that it's got this beveled edge on the top that goes around the top and it's not like this one which is square. You know, they look the same. They're almost, I guess, identical in every form except for that little beveled edge on the top. And uh, the indentations in, in here are different than this one. I don't know. If I get get any advice from anybody, I guess would be I'd be considering it. But I'd really just like to slap this motor back. See, this motor has less than 80,000 original miles. I'm the second owner to this motor. You know, there's a whole there's a whole story behind this engine. And it, it, it's this long, the, the long and the short of this story is that this engine sat for a long time. And I just happened to run up on it. And I seen that it was a 400, but it, it's only a two barrel, which I don't mind. I like two barrels. I'm not looking for speed or, or uh, you know, I just want to be have it reliable. I want it to run good. And uh, just get me around back to the 50s. And uh, it's just, I don't know, that beveled edge. And uh, the way it's different in here, you know, is it going to make it run different in that cylinder? I don't know. But I was thinking as long as they weighed the same, you know, if it if this one, it, when it's all together, weighs exact, you know, pretty much exactly the same as this one, you know, I don't think there would be a whole lot of difference, you know. And I, I'm thinking that I m might just slap this together just to see how it runs. And the original one like this, you know, that looks just like this, it would be more better, I think. You know, then I just wasted, I don't know how much on this one, but. I 
I'd just like to get some opinions on you know, what anybody thinks. Uh, if I get to that cylinder. Yeah, this this was the cylinder that it was stuck in. Can't really get a light down in there. But the cylinder seems to be really nice. Hardly any ridge on it. Like I said, this motor only has it's like 78,000 miles on it, original miles. This is in a, a 70 or a 67 Catalina two door. Uh, it was bought new in the spring of '68. In the winter, the January of 69, it stepped out into the front of a snowplow of a county truck in a, in a snowstorm, and the guy didn't make it, so the driver's door handle was sticking out the passenger side window. And then the then the car sat in the junkyard for the next thirty odd years till I came across it. About, I don't know, fifteen years. And he closed the yard. And we had cleaned up all the cars already, which he had about five thousand. Uh, and we were just working on the scrap piles. And we started we started moving stuff and it was like bales of uh telephone wires and stuff like that and just odds and ends and there that there that car was sat at the bottom of that pile and then he remembered that it was he remembered it when he seen it and uh I had it running by the afternoon I had it running and sitting there running and it ran nice And I got it. He gave it to me for free. It was like my last day at work there. And it's a 400-400 combo. I got the original tranny that came behind this. And uh, I'd really like to use it in this truck. And uh, I don't know, make like a, a tribute truck to the junkyard just to start out. So that, that's basically my situation. I have new rings for the for this piston, uh, and I, I have a new ring set for this. Basically, all I need to do is get the the rod switched over, and uh, I think I'm gonna clean clean out everything else. I'm thinking about taking out all the pistons and cleaning everything up before I attempt this. But I don't know, I was thinking I'd really like to have uh, an original piston. Now, I'm wondering if uh, like a 289 piston is like the same as this 400. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> whatever, it's been fun. I've been having a good time. I haven't seen this truck I haven't seen this truck in like uh, five years. It's been in storage, and I finally got it back. And we're living up, we're li living uh, in a different spot, and just getting used to my new digs. I had a bigger shop than this. This is nice and intimately small, but I like it. it makes me, it keeps me uh, on my toes. But like I said, I'm just like goofing around with it. And, uh, but like I say, any advice on what you might think about that? Or see, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to rebuild the engine or anything like that. It's got 78. I've heard it run. It ran nice, and it, it sat in my garage for like 10 years. 